quick. I look confused. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> What's going on? I had to change my um I had to change my settings. Wild dog. What's on, mate? Holy shit Louise, man. Holy shit Louise. Kira Beatty. Fat Fat for Chan or something, I can't remember. Blue Sky, Joe Prack, Music Trooper. What's good? Jackson Gaiman, hello, mate. Earth Tiger Witch, Eva J. Oh, Eva J, mate, you've been around for a long, long time. Leg World! Hello, right, okay. Um, so the beginning was a little bit of a hit and miss because, uh, hang on, this is a bit weird. That's better. <laughs> What's good, everybody? I haven't got any buttons to push to make it go spang and shbing and all that sort of stuff. So please make sure that you like this, share it, tell your friends and your family because it's going to be epic. Okay. Well, hopefully. But no, um, I don't. I usually have my like beginning and stream starting soon and all that sort of stuff. But I've basically stripped it all down and. Um, yeah, he caught me off guard a little bit. I press start stream on OBS. And normally what happens on YouTube, you have to click it on there. But it just automatically started to go ahead. So anyway, we're here now. You're so excited. It's fresh. It's Anne. And she's so excited. And I just can't hide it. Watching from Georgia, USA, baby. Come on. Zen Zen. Hello, Zen Zen. Much love from Washington State, USA, baby. Come on. Oklahoma, USA, baby. Come on. Is it? Is everybody just American here? Is everybody from the USA, United States of America, baby? From Sweden. What's good? And India. Alabama. Oh, my God. We got Alabama in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Come on, man. Oh, did we get a bloody membership as well? We bloody did, mate. Who got? Hang on, let me go to activity. Um, Kira Beatty, thank you so much for the membership, and Diana Sophie, thank you so much for the seven months, mate. Holy moly! So I thought it'd be good today to um open up fan mail because I've got some down here, and also I just thought about maybe thirty-two months. James Prut. 32 months, mate. Licky, yeah. Huh? Oh, Diana says, um, it's been a while. Glad to see you in a live. Yeah, it's been a while for the live, Diana. And and James says, been working a lot lately. Glad to catch you live, mate. James, keep on working, baby. Keep on working. Work it. Work it, baby. <laughs> 32 months, oh, mate. Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness gracious. Peter Laser from Transylvania. Ah, 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 ah. I like to count. <laughs> I'm a Dane living in Norway. The two best countries. You just mentioned one, didn't you? But Norway's nice. I've seen pictures of it. Hey, Ben. Hello, Devon Gamer. 35 months, mate. It's been a minute. You're fucking banned. But you know exactly why. Because you said minute and not ages. And Sophie B. Um, Earth Tiger Witch, mate. Thank you so much for being a member, man. Um, right. I also thought it'd be a good idea to go on to Discord as well. And talk about... Um, oh, sh I haven't shared this, actually. I haven't shared... Let me share this to Twitter. I thought it'd be a good idea to maybe talk to you a lot about Bigfoot. Because I've been getting a bit of grief about the Bigfoot. You know? Um, Light-hearted and passionate and friendly grief. But no doubt, grief. Because some people don't like me that I don't believe in the Bigfoot. 
So maybe I can chat to some of you guys and um, talk about that. Would you like that? Hopefully you would like that. Because if not, then I'm fucking, I'm, I'm motherfucking, I'm gone. Hey, Amanda. Hey, from Netherlands, mate. Hello, mate. Subscriber for two, since two weeks. Let's go. First live, Barbara? Anything freaky deaky? Well, we're going to talk about um, uh, Bigfoot. I want, I want people to come on and talk to me about Bigfoot. Reasons why they think Bigfoot is real. And also, if you don't think they're real, that's probably not going to be so much of a conversation because we'll be both like, yeah, exactly. But maybe, I don't know. Wild Dog and Sophie, thank you so much for the memberships. And Scott Osborne, mate, 18... Look at you, look, 18 months, 19 months. Sophie, the new membership, mate. Holy moly. Oh, by the way, uh, Discord, the Discord link. Um, the Discord link is in the description. So go into Discord, right? Jump into the waiting room. And then if you want to talk to me about why you think Bigfoot is real, then we'll chat about it. All right? Um, a, a, a UC Dango. Uh, no, not a UC. Usagi, Usagi Dango, mate. We grow them wild up here in Canada. Bigfoot. You, you grow Bigfoot's wild up there? Oh, shit in hell. James Prout just gifted five bloody memberships, mate. Look at you. Man, thank you so much. But I've been first live on YouTube. Is it? I've seen quite a few people saying it's first live. Your tattoo artist fully believes in Bigfoot. It's good to see me live. It's good to see you live. You think Australia has their own version of Bigfoot? Really? What's that called then? Bigfoot, mate. In Canada, they don't they don't call them Bigfoot. They call them cousins. What? Oh my goodness, mate! Diabetic Viking. Look at you, huh? Look at the state of you, mate. How the devil are you, buddy? Hey? How's it going? Missed you, mate. Missed you. Who wireless? Who wireless? Bloody hell. Right, anyway. Okay. Why you're thinking... Oh, here we go. Hang on a second. Brain freeze turkey. Hang on. Let's have a listen to brain freeze turkey a minute. I said go into the waiting room, but I probably shouldn't have said that. I'm going to... I'm going to go into... YouTube live. I'm going to bring in Brain Freeze. Brain Freeze. Are you there, mate? You're on mute, it looks like. Amanda Barrett with a 1999. Amanda, thank you so much. Hey, Ben from South Africa here. Lately, your volume on your videos is a lot. Oh, yeah. I don't know what you're talking about, mate. Hey, brain freeze. Yes. Oh, Hello. Jesus. Yeah, what's on brain freeze, right, mate? How's it going? All good, man. How are you? Uh, very good. I got a doctor's appointment here in a little bit, but Oh, okay. You want to tell me about why you believe in Bigfoot? Uh well, it's not that I believe in Bigfoot per se. I just I think it's possible. Mm. Um you know, it but it, it's kind of the whole Loch Ness monster thing, you know, it's there's no firm proof, obviously. Mm. Um, but I think, like I said, I saw some of the conversation about all the, you know, one point whatever billion acres in the United States. Yeah, and a lot of that is dense, and you know, and and if they're migratory, it's possible mm. that they go unnoticed. What was it three three hundred and three million acres or something like that? What was it? Yeah, it was something like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, plus you have a lot of mountains out west where, you know, people don't frequent a lot. I mean, you know, that, like the Yeti over in wherever the Alps or wherever they are. Yeah. Well, um, would you, 
Are you have you ever done hunting? Do you know any hunters? Uh, not in a long, not in a while. But I have a lot of friends who deer hunt. Yeah. Uh, and the problem, you know, because I saw the hunters. The problem is with hunters is they usually go to places that you know they're familiar with, and they go back to the same type of places, the same areas, mm. rather than just kind of randomly go out in the woods and you know. So well, if, you, yeah, but they usually go to the hot spots, though, don't they, for Bigfoot? Uh, are you talking about? Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess there would be certain areas if they. There was a lot of talk about Bigfoot being sighted in a certain area. Yeah, um, I imagine they would go, but none of my. I, I, I'm in Alabama, so Alabama, baby, come on! <laughs> right. <laughs> so we don't have. There's no Bigfoot around here. If I don't believe, I think that's mostly pacific northwest so if you had um, to put your wages on it right if you had to put a month's wage if someone said to you is bigfoot real is bigfoot not bigfoot not what would you say if i had to put money on it i'd say no right okay <laughs> this is a different you know, it's mean, a different ball game we have to put money on it right <laughs> yeah right <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no i mean I, like i say i think it's possible but I mean, I'm I'm probably more on the skeptic side as well, you know. Yeah, it's like ghosts, you know. It's it's, I've I've had uh, two experiences with ghosts. Okay. Um, uh, not actually seeing anything, just things moving. I had a door kept shutting on me and pushing on me while I was uh, filming for a news story one time at this old plantation house. They were turning it into a. Uh, a B and B. This is probably fifteen years ago, mm -hmm. and um, they were renovating the whole thing. And I know that supposedly s stirs up, you know. Uh, yeah, activity. yeah, I heard yeah. that. Right. So if you buy a new house, then and if you start, yeah, like you say, renovating, changing things, the spirits don't like it, and that's when you can get activity. I've heard that. Right. And so I was standing in a, one of the rooms getting some footage, and the door was open. I was kind of standing in the doorway. And the door kind of closed on me, on my hit me on the elbow. So I pushed it back, and you know, it was doing a pan, and then it did it again. So I put look behind. Do it again. Sure <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I looked behind the door, make sure there wasn't something leaning against it, and there was nothing behind it. And then it, when it did it the third time, it pushed, and it just kept pushing like pressure, like it was trying to shut the door. Right. And uh, and so it actually took a little effort. Oh and then shit. About that time, a, a lamp across the room turned off. So I went over, turned it on, went back to the camera, and it turned off again. And at this point, the woman who owned the place came in, just check and see how I was doing. And I mentioned something, and she goes, "Oh, yeah." Like she didn't want, like she didn't oh, want like she, the she, idea that it was, she knew it was going to happen, right? She knew it was. She it knew was it was haunted. Yeah, because she started telling me all these other stories. Um, wow. And I want to go back because I'm starting a ghost hunting group, okay. and I want to go back to that place because I, you know, I I believe that there's something there yeah yeah oh man so, okay wait thanks for that buddy yeah it's a good yeah. story man good another story. time was in memphis i was in memphis with my brothers just real quick it was a christmas well, I was time. Walking in memphis. <laughs> yeah um sorry but anyway it was christmas time and there was like you know the christmas tree was set up across the room and it was me my older brother and my dad were in there just watching something on tv mundane and i just happened to look over at the christmas tree and there was like a shirt type box wrapped uh -huh. It was leaned against the wall, and I just happened to look over there, and the the it was like somebody pushed tapped it from the bottom, and went straight up, landed back down, and fell forward. And I look over at my brother, and he's he kind of glanced over at it, and then went back to the TV. And I'm looking at him like, "You saw that, right?" He goes, "Yeah, that stuff like that happens all the time." What? And he started talking about, uh, like shadow, like they would sit there watching TV and. Behind them, they would see the reflection of somebody walking past them. Uh, voices he heard, you know. They, oh, would, mate. See, yeah, the thing is, would... I don't know what would freak me out more, seeing something or hearing something. Yeah. Chat, what would what would freak you out more, hearing something or seeing something? Because if yeah, you saw think... something, you, you, you could sort of say to yourself, oh, probably just, you know, my mind messing up or I thought I saw something. But if you hear something, I don't know. That, I think that's a little bit, I don't know, more sinister, right? Seeing yeah. people are saying seeing, yeah. hearing, seeing. Yeah. Mm. yeah. 
Like I made a comment on your last video. It was like, uh, there's nothing more heartwarming than a child's laughter unless it's 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And the way it's laughter. I mean, there's there's children's laughter, but then there's laughter like, hee, 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 hee. If my daughter started oh. laughing like, hee, 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 I'd be freaking right <laughs> out, mate. I'm getting the chicken just with you doing that. <laughs> <laughs> hey mate good to speak to you man i appreciate you coming on absolutely man good talking to you too take care buddy bye bye How you too, man. Bye. hey what, what a nice guy what a nice guy yeah mate i don't know i think seeing some oh, i don't know it depends what i suppose it depends what you see right if you saw a shadow bastard or a ghost of no fucking head or something like that yeah it's gonna mess you up a little bit it's gonna mess you up mate i just want to say um Mate, thank you to these people, right? James with the 10 smackaroonies. US smackaroonies, mate. Crisp smackaroonie. Thank you so much, baby. Classic Spider 97 again for nine nine and nine. Come on. Hey, Ben. Oh, by the way, uh, the audio. People keep on talking about this audio on my videos. And I'll be honest with you. It's starting to piss me off. Okay? Because <laughs> when I do my audio i can clearly see the equalizers right so i've got i've got one for the video and then i've got one for me and the video i i i, I play it and it fluctuates in the green and just jumps up into the yellow right it just nicely jumps up into the yellow with the equalizer occasionally if there's a big bang so it might pop into the red but right and when i when I do my audio, I do exactly the same. In the green, it's popping into the yellow. It's popping into the yellow. When I shout, it pops into the red. And I'm like, nobody's going to complain about this little bastard. And lo and behold, Ben, the video audio is a lot louder than you. Or Ben, your audio is a lot louder than the video. I'm like, come on, man. I think it might be when I start doing that. Like, maybe this is the reason. Like, and also sometimes, depending on what channel I react to or watch, I should say, is that sometimes their audio fluctuates up and down. You know, it sound it goes perfectly nice, and then all of a sudden they maybe they record it at a later date or something, and they get the audio, and it's a lot louder, a lot quieter. I don't know, mate, but I, I'm trying my best. God damn you. The sound is crystal clear. I'm, I'm glad of that. Maybe it depends on what you're using. Can you speak up, please? Parky! Anyway. <laughs> Paul Falkenbridge, Ray! Look at you, buddy! Hey! Thank you so much, man. What a legend you are, Paul. What an absolute legend. Mate, we need to, we need to chat soon. Um, Classic Spidey also says, Hello, Ben. Hope you're well. My thoughts on Bigfoot are if we have have had all these sightings on TV shows about them, why haven't we had actual photos or DNA picked up from their built nests? That's a good point. It's a very good point, mate. Very good point. What does chat say about that? What do you say about that, peeps? The Casperians? Why haven't we got DNA? Why haven't we found a dead body of the Bigfoot, right? All their bones. Kira Beatty says all their bones, yeah. What's this, Ben, you bloody legend? Let's go hunt this Dumbledore. <laughs> oh, God. Bigfoot and Sasquatch are a bit the same. But Big has creepier face hang on i thought the bigfoot and sasquatch was the, the same the same thing isn't it isn't it um veda new world veda new world thank you so much for the 11.99 mate thank you so much i really appreciate the love andy wwe world wrestling <laughs> entertainment thanks for the membership mate London Gothic. Let's go. Bigfoot works in the chippy in the chippy in Peckham. Bloody tight ass on the salt and vinegar. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, Chinook, mate. Thank you so much for the 39.99 net NZs. Is that New Zealand? Mate, thank you. Right, okay. I'm going to open up one of the parcels, by the way, because you guys have sent me some fan mail, and I'm so sorry it's taken this long to get around to doing it, okay? I'm going to do it now. We're going to open up the first one. And then I'm going to clap this, um... Hang on, this one? Hang on. Right, hang on a second. I should have some music. Have I got any music? No bollocks to that. Ah! Ooh. Is it a DVD? Is it doved? Is it a doved? It's got to be a doved, right? Hi, Ben. I know how much you love The Lost Boys. Enjoy. Love your channel and content. Keep up the great... The great reactions um, have been with you, channel, since you had 100,000 su subs. You are a bloody legend, mate. Look at you, looking at me. All the best to you and your family. Peter, Bo is that? Oh, Peter at Bournemouth, UK. My reaction channel is random, rea oh, random reactions HD, mate. If you could mention it. I did, man. Random reactions HD. Which means high definition. And I wonder what's in here, mate. Lost Boys. And do you know what I was watching last night? Last night, I watched a... Um, it was a fan meetup where Kiefer Sutherland and the... Uh, what's, what's Michael's name? What's Michael's real name? It, like, the actual actor. Well, it's him and Kiefer Sutherland up on stage talking about Lost Boys, mate. It was, and as they walked in on the stage, it was like... Cry, little sister. It's fucking brilliant. I didn't watch it all, though, because it went on for about two hours. Mate, Lost Boys, mate. I've, I've, I've already got the Lost Boys. I'll be honest with you. I've already got the Lost Boys. I've got it. I've, I've got it. Why wouldn't I not have it? But look at you, mate. It was him, him, and him that was chatting last night, mate. It was bloody brilliant. Wow. Thank you so much, man. DVD's not in there. Fucking great. Cheers. Thanks for the box. I'm joking. I'm joking. It's in there. <laughs> oh, mate. What a legend, man. That's so nice of you. <laughs> Jason Patrick, is it? That's the one, mate. That's the one. Right. Okay. I'm going to open up another one in a minute, but I'm going to get somebody else in. I'm going to get in um, Devin. Devin, he's banned, so he's not coming in. At, at, <laughs> it's a joke. It's a joke. Etrio, 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 etra, etrio. Etrio. You're muted, etrio. I'll let you. There you go. Hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hey. Hello. How you doing, mate? Um, quite well. How are you, sir? Oh, mate, I'm fine. I, and you don't have to call me sir, mate. It's Ben or Casper. But thank you, sir. I like you're so polite. I, I didn't want to assume. No, man, no. You call me Ben, Casper, Dick. Well, don't call me Dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, mate? Oh, pretty good. Uh, so the uh, you're wondering why I believe in uh, um, Bigfoot. Or yeah. I believe there's a possibility of a Bigfoot. Oh, mate, I wanted you to be like, yes, Ben, there is a Bigfoot. And this is the reason why, you little bastard. Now listen up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll go with your premise then. Okay. There we go. You set the tone. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you actually do legit believe in Bigfoot. Yes, I do. I okay, do okay. Let's let's go then. Um, first, I'll start with some uh, some uh, um, something I noticed. Okay, mm -hmm. you remember that cat video that you that you saw where the cat goes into the curtains yeah. and the two eyes, and then the yeah. eyes like yeah. Well, I was told a long time ago by uh, an ex, so I don't know how stable in science this is, but an ex told me, she because she had cats, mm. she said that her cats will go into a different dimension. She said that? Like they'll, yeah, so they'll essentially just go off and just disappear out of nowhere, and then you won't find them. You can't find them no matter They're how- They're next door. You... They're next door. Eat... They're next door. <laughs> Right, they're, e <laughs> they're eating whiskers next door from Betty. 
a bird in the backyard or something. Cats are cats are known to have multiple homes, and I know the cat owner is going, "Not my cat, not my cat." They right, they're cheating on you, Garen, Unless it's a home cat. <laughs> no, it's a home cat. I have a home cat, and she goes off, and we, sometimes we can't find her, and we go, "Well, she just must have went into a different dimension, slipped into something else." Mm. That's kind of my theory. Is that and why I believe Bigfoots are real is because a, if they are a, an, an in-between step between man and, and let's say the missing link. I don't, I don't know if people have heard that term in a long time. It's called the missing link. It's yeah. between man and, and the yes. last form of ape. Yes. I have heard of that, mate. Yeah. Because, um, a lot of people, uh, say like, um, that, sort of go against the evolution they say well there is no there is no middleman so how like that's the link so that can't be true right that's what they say right is that right yeah which yep. goes for the argument of adam and eve yeah yes yeah. um i also tend to believe the sumerian texts well the the translation of them anyway okay um that that man was created from a combination of of dna given dna and dna from beings that were here which are more ape-like beings right so if the, if all of that is true just to kind of cut this down if all of that is true then whatever bigfoot is okay has to be a really intelligent because if it's if it's lasted this long and people were actively looking for it it would a know that it would look for it b probably have a huge sense of smell so it would know that humans are and hearing so uh -huh. it would know humans are coming uh -huh. and b they probably have places to hide up underneath the earth and and in caves remember that that one that you were looking at where that head came out underneath the the sewer and all the guys didn't know that it was there until oh, that one mate. guy yeah 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 that kind of thing can happen. I think you did a video a few months ago, or maybe it was six months ago, where uh, the same kind of thing happened, but it was in like a cave thing that somebody didn't notice. Well, that kind of thing can mm. happen where where these things can exist almost like in your back garden, and you wouldn't know that they were there unless okay. Okay. something happened. So I think right. they kind of just slip and are smart enough to understand. And then there might be portals that they go into. That's kind of my crackpot crack pot theory. <laughs> my <laughs> crackpot theory. Right, hang on one second, because I've got to say to Vicky Vasco, she says, hey, Ben, I guess you'd never read my messages. Well, I did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Vicky's like, don't. I, I did. <laughs> and guess who's in the chat, mate? That is impossible yes mate james i spoke to him about half an hour ago i said mate i'm gonna go live in a bit it'd be great for you to come on so we're gonna get james on in a bit and he wants to talk to me about well i've asked i literally said to him i said come on come on the stream and talk to me about bigfoot because i i legit don't know whether he believes in bigfoot or doesn't believe in bigfoot i'm gonna, we're gonna speak to him in a bit so yes, um yeah and talking about that i recorded uh one of his videos today um an amazing an amazing video one of his best i would say and there is actually i couldn't believe it there is actually a bigfoot um clip in the video and i was like i can't believe this man because i've been getting so much heat about bigfoot lately oh, um, yeah. so when i reacted to his um video today i'll i'll post it tomorrow i think but uh yeah it was a good one it was a good one but going back to like these portals and stuff and you... yes so i <laughs> When people start talking about, and this is where maybe it's sort of like, um, some people could say it's very close-minded of me. It's very ignorant of me. Some people would say, no, Ben, you're thinking logically. Like you can't, you can't win because when people start talking about um, portals, right? That's when I get a little bit lost in the conversation it's like i find that sort of thing so hard to believe now i, well, I can back it up i can understand that there potentially could be different planes okay I, mm -hmm. I i get that i can get my head around that like planes that there's different dimensions i can get that i can also get mm -hmm. that there could be visually things that we can't see because we can only see a certain percentage of this whole spectrum of light, right? 
So I can understand mm -hmm. that there could be that. But holes in time, holes in space that you could just whoop. Like, I would understand if somebody said, there are holes that can occur around the world spontaneously. Like, we don't understand what happens. It just pops up. Like, splits mm -hmm. in time, splits in space and stuff like that. I get that. But for something or some being to create a, a hole in time, like a portal, it's just so far-fetched for me. And mm -hmm. you say that, like, you know, Bigfoot is intelligent. Well, okay, fair enough. Let's just say it's more intelligent than um, than humans. Then... And, and they're trying to like keep away, keep hidden. They've got a great sense of smell and things like that. Now, bear in mind, these are all just assumptions because mm -hmm. no, again, nobody's caught one. Nobody's studied one. So we don't know if it can smell really well. We don't know if it can see really well. We don't know mm -hmm. if it can do these portals. and stuff. All these are just sort of like assumptions, right? Really? Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So... Oh, I just educated guesses because you know if it's an ape like being it would have similar attributes to ape yeah. like beings so they're they're kind of educated guesses well um, if they're but like ape, as... ape, but if the assumptions like they're ape like beings well then that would mean that they're less intelligent than us but let's just say for argument's sake that they are more intelligent if they're that intelligent and they want to keep hidden why do we spot them i think i think we are so prolific in our environment as you mentioned before like like for instance that video with the train ride nobody I, if that was ride. real right remember the train the the video from the train where he goes the 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 uh sasquatch the uh, bigfoot goes and sits down and he looks like the rest of the the surrounding bush in it because of his the color of his <laughs> fur no, and I, it's, from, it's taken from a train Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, man, that was that that was really good. Yeah. That was probably the first um recording that I looked at and I thought, hmm. It almost not almost persuaded me, but it made it, it opened up the door a little bit more for me to believe a little bit more, you know? You're a hundred percent right though. I mean, like how would you how would you time that? You would have yeah. to do you would have to do something. It was just like that other video you saw with the lightning and the the spirit and the lightning. How would you time that for the yeah. lightning for that? You can't time that. You mm. really can't. So to to have somebody out there to be like that, you really can't time it like that. Mm. But I think the reason they would want to show is they would want to say, you know, either say a message or they got caught because you say, well, they're, they're smart. How do they get caught? Well, how do we get caught? Sometimes we get caught doing something. Sometimes, you know, people get caught. Like I'll mm. tell you, I'll tell you two different two different things that I think backs up the whole portals thing. And I don't think that the Sasquatch or that the Bigfoot are opening them. I think they're using them because they know they're there. So they've right. been around for such oh. a long time. They know they're there. Okay. They can just use them. So what I think, I think is going on is something akin to the Bermuda Triangle and uh -huh. what has happened in Alaska. If you look at Alaska and you look at how many people just go disappearing in alaska nobody can find them none of the the, the officials can find them no police no helicopters mm. nobody can find them and then all of a sudden they show up and they're either dead or their clothes show up mysterious and isn't, nobody can find them isn't that isn't the bermuda triangle um something to do with sulfur or something like that where like the dent the air density and stuff like that and things get sucked under uh, into the water isn't it something like that it's more of an electromagnetic change in the Earth's core at that spot in a triangle, triangular shape, which, by the way, I should mention, what is the base of the Great, great Pyramids in Egypt? It's a triangular base. So mm. if, if those two things have anything to do with each other, which there's rumors, there's stories, I'm not putting any scientific weight behind them, but what I will do is I will say scientifically – the Bermuda Triangle, and I'm sure there are a few other places, especially there's one in Japan around the Japanese or Asian coast or something. Yeah, that's a similar. huge one, right? Yeah. People are she not said. going over there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she said that. Uh, 
but no, but th- this is my point. Like if these things are, we know of these things, right? We've known of mm. these things for a really long time. Bermuda Triangle disappearance, mysterious disappearances in Alaska and things like that. Then if that can happen, then clearly these beings, these creatures, if they are smart, if they, cause, because they, they've been known to be two legged, walk up on two legs. They continue to go through. If they do that, I really do believe that these things could exist and they could have existed for such a long time. All you have to do is go back and look at Native American. Mm. Mate, talk yeah, I've just and, got I've just yeah. got to stop you there because I've been flooded and I sort of agreed with you but without even thinking. Uh, <laughs> no, you're, the, you're right. I'm the, sorry, the, I've taken too much time. No, 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 no. I was going to talk about the pyramids. You said that the pyramids, oh, the oh, base yeah. is yes. triangle, right? Yes. Yes. The, ba- the, base the, ba- is... the base is the base is square. Yes, but when you think about the Bermuda Triangle, when you look down from the top of the of it, it's usually or the side of it, it's a triangle, right? If you look at one side of it from top to bottom without the capstone, if you put the capstone up, are you talking about you the pyramid a, or the Bermuda Triangle? The the pyramid. If you look on one yeah, yeah. side of it, that's yeah. it comes down to a triangle, right? That's triangle. Well, the, right, yeah. the Bermuda Triangle is a triangular shape like that so if you were to to look at it that way you could look at it and say okay let's say there's a pyramid down there what if there's a pyramid down there oh okay. nobody knows right, right yeah, yeah, yeah like okay, yeah. it could cause because when people get close I, sound, to the uh, i don't know mate it sounds like you're reaching a little bit there i saw sort of a little bit i i see what you're bit. getting at yeah. i i do see what you're getting at i do yeah but... i am reaching a little bit i am mm. a little bit <laughs> but but i have to but there might, there might the be something that... in triangles right there's a reason why yes. that's what you're trying to say there's a, there, yes. there's the reason why there's certain shapes that can maybe manifest something or have certain power you know yes certain yes, energy absolutely. energy right okay mm-hmm. okay yep right Electromagnetic. mate hey listen hold on mate because we could get down to the bottom of this okay um but, <laughs> but thank you so much for for chatting to me man i've got to push on because i need to open up some more of this fan mail and also speak to other people and i want to get james from that is impossible in mate he's here the vip the the no one problem. And only. i just want to say you're awesome you're doing a great job god bless you and i seriously hope you're doing better and your health gets really well i've been praying for you ben if oh, that man. matters Hey, so I mate, just that really does matter, man. I really appreciate that. That's such a nice thing to say. And I was, again, talking to James earlier, mate. My health, you could probably see as well and hear, my health is getting, well, it's it's pretty much there. I'll be honest with you. I even said to the missus last night, I said, my cough's starting to go now. It's not so, like, uncontrollable. So my cough sorted out. Um, I'm getting a lot more better sleep. Um, I've sorted out half of my gym, so I'm going to be getting back into the gym soon as well. So life is good, man. It was just one of those things that just fucking got on top of me. Do you know what I mean? But I really yeah. appreciate it, man. I appreciate the prayers. We just want to say we love you, all of us, from all of us, all of your people who watch you on YouTube and everything. We love you. So. What a what an absolute legend, man. Thank you so much. You take care, You're mate. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Peace out. Wow. I love that, man. That's such a nice thing for somebody to say and do. <laughs> hey that's a good uh that's it I'm, I'm fucking loving this conversation right i'm gonna quickly open up another one right so we got this one mate look at this hey look at this fan mail <laughs> come on i've been having messages from people saying ben when are you gonna open up this mail i've sent you this i've sent you this i've sent you this Hey, maximum wrapping. Hang on, we've got two in here. Ooh. Witchcraft, oh my god. We've got a pentagram on the bloody box, mate. I don't know if I should open this shit up. That was nice. Um, yeah, but anyway, if my mic's a little bit quiet, I, I will, I'll, I'll sort it out at, at some point. Look, look at this, look, 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 look at this. Familiars. Witchcraft. Hang on, I need, I need a knife. Oh, hang on a second. Sing.
It is a good knife, honestly. Ah! Mate, this isn't going to be fucking bones, is it? It's not going to be bones and foreskin. Because I'll be pissed off, mate. Ooh. It's not foreskin. It's okay. You can relax. <laughs> Maybe I should read this in a, a witch's voice. Hi, Ben. No, that's not a witch's voice. This is something else. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Absolutely love... No, no. <laughs> Hi, Ben. Absolutely love watching your show. I've made you a little gift set for protection whilst you're out on your ghost hunting adventures. Uh, many blessings, Laura. Mate, Laura. Okay. Oh, oh, mate. I knew that something smelled nice. Mate, this is actually legit quite nice, right? Hang on a second. Oh, shit. Look. Look at that. Hang on. Magically made. Wow, okay. And also, this? This protects me. I love the I love the actual set here, man. What's this all about? I've also I've got one of these. I don't know what it's called, but I've got one of these. Hang on. What is this? Look, 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 look at this if you're interested. Oh, it's from the UK. Familiar with uh, switch, some familiars witchcraft dot UK. Man, that's so nice of you. That is so nice. That's really nice as well. I don't know what's in it. I don't know what herbs. If you're American, herbs, herbs. Hey, mom, I'm cooking a bolognese. Can you pass me the herbs? The herbs. It's nice, right? <laughs> Hang on, we've, we've also got this as well. I, I, man, I fucking love you lot. I really do. It's so nice having these things sent to me. It's just so crazy. Crazy. Right, this looks very important. What the hell is this? Oh, man. What the hell? I like the I like the wrapping. Look at that wrapping, mate. Look at that. Ooh-wee. Oh, this feels like a book. This is a book. This is a book of... Mate, it's not going to be a book of spells, is it? A book of spells to get one million subscribers. YouTube, YouTube, without a whistle. Give me something for one million. Wow. Oh, whoa, whoa, wow. Hang on a second. Mate. Jesus, Mary and Jojo. Okay, I've got a lot here to show you. Look at this, mate. Look at that. Hey, that's fucking banging. I mean, I, to be fair, though, would be strangling the bastard, right? Clearly, I would be Rambo in it. Not, I would be like, ah, right? I'd be like, fuck off, mate. Who the fuck do you think you are, right? Hi, Ben. I'm the artist from London Gothic, and I just wanted to thank you for all your content, binge-watching your videos, has got me through some very long days and drawing whilst working on this project. So thank you for always being there to keep my spirits up. Look at yeah. Michael D. Burton, mate. Michael D. Burton. Incredible, man. Incredible. Hang on, there's another one. Me and my missus, Pagan Witch, absolutely love your you and the show. So we thought... We'd send you a little something like a care package to check to cheer you up as you've been poorly. Oh man. Wow, mate. Whoa. Whoa. Look. 
Look at this. Oh, wow. Hang on. Wait. How many times am I going to say fucking wow? Parental advisory? Look at these pictures. Look, look, look. Stickers. Epic stickers. Oh, mate, that's a nice picture, right? That is a nice... Mate, maximum artist, please! So this is the... Mate, I'm telling you, if you're watching this, if London Gothic are watching this, please. Please put me in one of your comics, mate. And I will advertise the shit out of it. <laughs> right, 10%. <laughs> <laughs> mate. Look, 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 look. I, I've not even seen it myself, but I just know it's going to be banging. Look at the pictures on this. Look at the colour. I love the colour. Look at the colours. Hey. Eh? Um, KJW4 Tro, can I get a shout out here from the Philippines, mate? Appreciate it. There you go, buddy. Man, I, wow, I really appreciate that. That is fantastic. That's cheered me up no end. Oh, I wasn't even happy, but that's cheered me up no end, mate. That is banging. Con everybody in chat, right? Contact London Gothic and ask them to put me in their comic. 10%. Right? Put me in the comic. That'd be so good. That'd be so good. I'd love to be in the comic. I was actually that close of being in a comic, but it all fell to pieces. So I'd love to be. My own comic, I was going to say. My own comic. I contacted somebody and we were going to do my own comic and it'd be banging because I love comics. Right. Okay. <clears throat> You're in chapter three, Ben? Ask Jeeves? Did you just Google that? It'd be epic. London Gothic has been in here. What? Oh, L London Gothic, I can see. Let's jump on Sleazy Jet tomorrow and sod off over for, for that uh, thorough investigation, mate. London Gothic with the 499, mate. Thank you so much. Holy shit balls, man. I didn't even see you there. How and you've done it. Hang on. Bigfoot. Oh, London Gothic was the one that said Bigfoot works in the chippy in Peckham. Nay. <laughs> Man, thank you. Thank you. Are they in chat here now? Uh, can't see. Can't see. Oh, shit. Right, okay. We're going to get somebody else in. Where's James? Where's James? Is James from That Is Impossible? Where is he? Right, here he is. Hang on. Yo, yo. I can talk for about 10 minutes. F you, man. Yo. You coming in? She said, I'm just messaging him. Criminal Care Bear, thank you so much for the five smackaroonies, mate. And Jenna in the stars, Casper Sight, you are awesome. I love your personality and videos. I wish I could send you, send P.O. box, but it's too expensive for shipping. Love from Wisconsin. Oh, I'm so sorry, man. I'm, I'm, I, I'm sorry, but thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm here. Okay, he's here. Right, hang on. Where is he? Oh, oh, he wants me to go for, over there. Okay, 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 okay. Own him. <clears throat> Dude. Yo, what's up? Hey! This and that, mate. Good to speak to you again. Nice, nice talking to you. Uh am I am I am I is my microphone going? Is it working? All fine? Yeah, Audio is good. I'm just turning you down a little bit. That's fine. Cool. Cool. Right, mate. Everybody is we... going crazy because the one and only that is impossible is here in the chat, mate. Speaking live, eh? Well, couldn't miss a live from Casper site, bro. Mm. You got an awesome channel. Congratulations. And cheers, dude. Yeah, he is loud, isn't he? They're all saying, just shut the fuck up, James. That's what they're saying, apparently. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> right, mate. I don't. I didn't even say to you earlier. Do you, um do you believe in Bigfoot? Well, that's a complicated question. Uh, it's not. It's a fucking make... yes or no answer, really. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to make it simple, I, I guess I'm I'm open to the possibility. Yeah, yeah. So, okay, um, so because you've probably never seen, seen you, right. never seen okay. Bigfoot, never seen Bigfoot myself. I don't think there's, um, I don't have any evidence of Bigfoot. The thing about it is, where are the bones? Where's the the mm. con- concrete evidence of Bigfoot? You know, there's little evidence of it, which makes it even I think uh, even more mysterious because. Uh, there are videos, there are stories, countless actually stories of people who, who supposedly say they, they've seen it. Uh, I don't know, hunters, Yeah. uh, sounds, there's, there's a, a lot of videos where people capture strange sounds, uh, howling sounds, these vocalizations. There's actually books on it and all that. You can read about it. Like, uh, it will, it would take years to read all the content that there is mm. on Bigfoot. So what do you, have you what what video out there would you say that you've seen that really just made you go mm, hang on a second I really think like there could be something in this Bigfoot thing Well there's one particular video of a, a trucker who parked in a in a particular spot I don't remember this was in the United States mm. I don't remember exactly where he was where he was parked but um I actually got in contact with him and I talked to a couple of other truckers who say that in this particular spot there's there's more than one account of people who heard these strange vocalizations and no one knows exactly what it is this is one of the this is a one one interesting video mm-hmm. um there's another there's the patterson footage which we, i don't know there's i don't know if you know what which one this was this is it's it's going patterson. it's always going yeah the, the let me see here the patterson holy fuck hang on a second i've just had a red a red flash come up on my bloody screen, mate. Maxim, or I should say maximum, maximum, with the 199, 99, 200 fucking US dollars just donated, mate. James. Oh my, I see that. <laughs> I'm like, you're speechless. I'm speechless too, mate. Maximum, maximum. No message. Jeez Louise, mate. Holy moly. That's a good one. Fuck. That's cr- incredible. No message. No message. No message. That, no message. Oh, hang on. No, he has put a message. This is actually for Jane. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Maxim, mate, thank you so much, man. I'm going to read out some more of these in a minute, but that red one just flashed in my face, mate. That's what she said. I had to call it out. Yeah, go on, mate. Sorry, buddy. That's crazy. Uh, yeah, that's. I'm, I'm taking a look here. Yeah, people love you, bro. It's 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 nice. They love really you, nice mate. I'm too. telling you, your fucking videos, man. I don't know how you do. It. Like, there's something about your videos. There's, uh, like, there's a reason why you've got maximum subscribers. Ah, come on, you have them too. You have them. You're, you're, well, you're getting there. Well, it's nice. Uh, yeah, but like, this is what pisses me off about James, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, let me just tell you something about James. Right, on the surface and on his videos, he seems like a nice guy. But my God, does he rub it in? Because every time that he sends me a picture or something like that, every time that we do a video call together, he's right there with his fucking YouTube plaques. Gold ones, silver ones, purple ones. Fucking God knows what. There's a whole multi-colored dream coat behind him. Flashing the bloody plaques. And he's like pretending. <laughs> right? and I'm, I'm next to it right I'm now. Here, <laughs> I'm, here with my sil- <laughs> I'm here with my silver one. <clears throat> I'm, I'm, hugging it. I'm, hugging my, I'm hugging my plaque right now. <laughs> no, he's humble as F. He doesn't do it delivery. I'm joking. But, um... No, oh, but just just to, to c- conclude here, just quick, uh, the the Patterson Gimlin yeah. footage I just found it here. There's a stabilized version of it on YouTube. This is a really good one. Um, I don't know where I read. I think it was Reddit. Mm-hmm. Even though people are really skeptic on Reddit, but um, I, don't, I can't even saying... work out Reddit. I don't even understand Reddit. Mate. Really? No, I don't understand it. I don't know subreddits. Apparently, I've got a Reddit. Yeah. I, I, what is a subreddit? What's a Reddit? You and probably have a Reddit. 
there's there's probably fan fan uh fans doing a, a reddit uh subreddit of your <laughs> your your youtube right now right but probably okay. yeah I, I don't know if i want to see uh, <laughs> No, but yeah, no, it's cool. It's cool. I mean, like, um, uh, Reddit is, is, yeah, it's a kind of a complicated environment. It's not mm. exactly that kind of social, easy type of social media. Yeah. People that go and, 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 and people that are on Reddit consider themselves a little bit more, I don't know if it's an IQ thing or intelligent thing. You know, it's like people are really picky on Reddit. That's about it. Oh, but, okay. Um, yeah, it's a good place to actually verify some content sometimes. Oh, you know, really? People right, usually okay. have information. Yeah, yeah. Let's just say there's a, there's a video going viral right now. A lot of people are talking about it. On Reddit, you usually will find more information about it, people commenting and all that. It's good. Mm, it's, okay. It's good so it's a bit like it. Twitter yeah. or X? Exactly. Right, yes. okay. Yes, okay. a bit like Twitter, yeah. But um, uh, there, there's people on Reddit saying that the Patter Gimlin, Patterson Gimlin f- film is fake. That someone oh, right. actually that? said I, I, I it was a hoax, but I don't know. I've never seen anything like that. I, I, I've never seen anything uh, proving that. So I, I'm not too sure if it is. Right. But the stabilized version, if you watch it right now, the stabilized version of the Patterson Gimlin uh, Bigfoot video, uh-huh. it really looks legit. And not only, you know, it's, it's like the, 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 the Bigfoot's walking. Uh-huh. And while he's walking, you can see the muscles moving. Oh, and it has yeah, it has these. Uh, I don't know how to say this, but you can. It's a female, and you can sh- and you can see the the female parts moving. Also, it kind of makes sense. It's like if you watch the video, and there's a lot of people on Reddit trying to describe describe exactly what's going on. It, it's it's kind of shocking. It's like okay, this this seems legit, you know. So I wouldn't see how that was a hoax or or I don't know. Have you got it in front of you? There, the the movie the, I can hear the, you cl- I, I can hear you clicking about it. Yeah, I do. A... Yeah, I do. I, I have a link. It. I'm gonna send a link. Yeah, I'm gonna send a link over to you, mate. Just a sec. Yeah, it's a really good one. I think uh, you if you ask me, oh James, what, what? Yeah, this is a good one. It was in 1967. Oh man, this is yeah, mate. This is yeah, old, classic movie. man. Oh yeah, it's old. It's yeah old. well, this is like yeah. the first yeah. ever. Was it? Um... Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Oh, nobody can fucking see it, Ben. Hang on one second. One second. How do I how do I do this now quickly? Um, one sec. Add. Are you using? I gotta do OBS. Yeah, I gotta do screen share. A minute. One second. Window capture. Window capture. Uh. Viva Las Vegas! One second, I've got to show people so they know what we're, we're talking about here. Yeah, but the the there's also this other video from BT92 Travels. Uh, it was everywhere, all over. It was all over YouTube. I guess Slapped Ham did a video on it. Um, you said this is a was... female. I've never noticed it was a female. Yes, it is a female. It is a female. That. Oh is... yeah. Oh yeah. 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 You see that? Yeah, man. You know what? Why? why She's would like, fuck off. I'm naked. Piss off. Stop recording me. Exactly. You bastard. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, man. But I, I, I think when I first saw this. Somebody was saying about the length of the thigh or something, or they were saying about how it's not stretching its leg for walking properly, or I don't know. It was something about the way it walked. Okay. Yeah, mm. what, what people, what I've heard people saying is that you can actually see the thighs, the muscles and all that moving as in it's mm. not a, it's not a, um, Someone dressed up in I a, don't think you can scoot. see that. I'm not too sure. I think like the quality is that poor. I don't think Yeah, no, can... I know. There's a version on Reddit. Let me see if I can find it. Someone actually zoomed in on the thighs and made a version zooming in with a high quality version. But how uh, can you zoom see. in? Like I don't get like Oh bro. Man, yeah, I... people can technology. I don't know well, how. Well, yeah, but like how can you zoom in? If you've got a blur, how when you zoom in on a blur it's still a zoomed in blur like unless uh, kind of it depends it depends on the technology that you use to unblur yeah. it there's like Ad- adobe and all other companies work on these texts that you can actually make a, a poor quality video a higher quality the same thing with pictures 
and all that. Um, yeah, there's there's a technology that you can actually do that. Some people know how to use it, and they use it for these kind of videos, which is really nice. Um, and and sometimes they actually debunk these videos, you know, like using exactly this type of technology. Right. But I don't. This this was not the case. Yeah. Um, hey, chat. I, I don't chat. Is any anybody got any questions for James? By the way, while he's on, I'm just gonna put him on the spot here. Now, you don't mind, do you, James? <laughs> no problem. Is anyone got any questions that you want to ask James from? That is impossible. Let me see if I can find the footage that I'm talking about here on Reddit. Gosh. Make sure also, by the way, you go over to That Is Impossible, subscribe, and do the thing, okay? If you haven't subscribed to That Is Impossible, mate, I just don't, I just, don't, I think there's no hope. <laughs> there's no hope There's for also, you. You, you asked me about a video, bro. There's also another video here from um, Bigfoot. Let me see. It's a, a YouTube channel. I wouldn't go over and show this video because it's, it's copyrighted. Oh, okay. I think it's from Gulf. It's Gulf Island Rock. Let me check this. Because I'm an island boy. I'm an yeah. island boy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the <laughs> island boys. Oh, my gosh. They were. <laughs> oh, my God. They were getting it a couple of weeks ago. Oh, or God. months ago. They, they, they are always releasing stupid videos. Anyways, oh. um, Gulf Island Rock uh, YouTube channel. He captured something that looks like a Sasquatch in Vancouver Island. Right. And a uh, video has not been debunked to this moment. You can actually you can't actually see the face or anything like that. But it, it it's not a bear and it's not you know, it's a humanoid creature, it's furry, it's a really these type of videos are the ones that actually make me wonder. Mm. But there's no proof. Uh like I said, bones, um you can actually find footprint. You can find fur, for example, bones and fur. There should be fur and there should be bones. And there aren't. But uh, if you gather all the, the, the stories from people all over, you know, people who live in the woods and all that, you'll see that there are thousands of stories and people don't tell them to, to gain views, for instance. Yeah, you know, yeah. The kind of people that tell these stories actually live in the woods. They don't have a YouTube channel. Right. So, uh, Hey, James, so uh, Tristan, the Tristan channel says, seriously, that video was deep. Uh, he's talking about the one we just shown. Um, the Patterson, yeah, the yeah, Patterson. Yeah, seriously, yeah. that video was debunked. It was a costume made at a Mexican film studio. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This is what a lot of people on Reddit were saying that the video was finally debunked. Mm. And I guess the the guy who made the video died, and before dying, he said it was it was a hoax or a. a like that. <laughs> oh wow! Wow, really? But before he died, yeah, he's like, is, "Hey, yeah, by the way, yeah. world, the Bigfoot." <coughs> It was fake. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking died. Oh Last man. Words. Last words. You little bastard. <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. What a way to go. <laughs> what a way to go. On, on the t on the tombstone, it's just like it was faked. <laughs> well, it, th this is my my take is that either there's someone hiding this information really well and asking and, and doing everything to hide it, just like they did with UFOs for quite a while. Mm. And now I don't know why all of a sudden they're talking about it like, yes, UFOs exist, aliens exist. Yeah. And it's kind of official. You know what I mean? Like for, for 10 years ago, no, they didn't. It didn't matter what you would do. It didn't exist. People that talked about it were crazy, and now yeah. Yeah, they exist. And they're, you know what I mean? Like, why do you think? If Bigfoot, why, uh, why do you think that all of a sudden now? Because I actually t spoke about this today whilst watching your video, right? Making a recording right. of it. Because I mentioned it in the in the video. I, I say, why is it that all of a sudden? They've said, yeah, UFOs are real and we don't know what they are. Is it because there are too many sightings? And so they've had to say, yeah, right. But what I noticed is there's more sightings now since they've said, yes, there are UFOs. So what do you think about that, mate? Um, that is a, a really, really good question. Hmm. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, there's a few. I, I have my own theory, but I, I I guess a lot of people have their own theories also. You know, like they're 
Um, my my idea is that there's some interest behind it, uh, and usually when it, in this case it seems to be somewhat political and and I don't think I don't think it's because there are too many videos of it. I think they they if they wanted to they would hold back on the videos and the algorithm and all that you know. Yeah. Uh, but, but I think it's because there's a really good chance they may want to talk about or launch or release some sort of technology. And they want to soft disclose the existence of aliens and UFOs because they, they're like, okay, so we need to go to capitalism 3.0 and on capitalism 3.0, we need to use free energy or whatever type of energy they need to use. Yeah. You know, like petroleum is not working out, gasoline is not working out, we need something new, we already yeah. have something new, but we have to talk about it. But to release this technology, we have to talk about aliens and, and UFOs, you know, we have to, I don't know, this is what I think is going yeah. on. There's there's so many thoughts that it could be, you know, so many ideas, so many reasons, like, we, we just, we, yeah. we just gonna have to just surf the wave and just wait for it to just come out, exactly. isn't it? right? Exactly, oh, exactly. Well, look, mate. <laughs> <laughs> What, what, are you, what are you laughing at? The real question is, the real question is, is this. Um, are these UFOs and aliens humanoids? Are they uh, Martians? What do they look like? How many are, are of them? And are they already amongst us? And all those things. This is the real question. I don't think they're going to talk about it. Well, mate. <sighs> I don't know. I've, I've, I've put my theory out there on my video. So it's a theory. It's not what I believe. It's a theory of mine that we are the aliens. We were actually put here. That's a really good theory. You know? Yeah. That's a really good theory. It sort of That's explains a, really a lot of things. And yes, it does. And also how we are now already looking at sort of jumping ship suggests that we're going to do it again. We're going to go to another planet again. You oh, know? wow. Okay. Well, do, do you not... Right, so my theory... Well, in, then in, in Elon a, Musk... Uh, no, 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 this is what I'm let's saying. Let's ask Elon Musk. <laughs> so, like, so, basically, I did a whole video on it, right? It was, my, okay. it was about 20 minutes, but I'm going to break it down for you. So the theory is, and you can see it on YouTube, just put in, just type in Casper Sight's theory on Alien or, or whatever. So, okay. um basically we were put here we're fucking up the world so elon musk is going to put us on let's just say for argument's sake mars okay he's going to put us on mars but then he's going to be like well look i don't want to give you if we if i'm going to put you on mars he's going to put some rich people on mars okay the people that can afford to jump ship so he's going to colonize it slowly but surely he says, I'm not going to put you on there with the technology that you've got now. I'm going to give you the basic technology because if I give you the technology you've got now, you're just going to fucking blow it up again. You're going to ruin the, the, the Mars. All right. So we're just going to give you the basics and just be happy. And everyone's going to be like, yeah, fuck it. I want to be on Mars. I'm going to be happy with just like being out in the woodlands again and just living right by an open fire and stuff like that. Blah, blah, blah. So then what happens is we will want to remember Earth. And we'll want to remember moving to Mars. So we're going to start carving pictures into rocks. Okay. And then we're going to tell our kids, when we start having kids, we're going to tell them stories about how Elon Musk put us here. We're going to show them the carvings in the wall about a big plane that put us here. Right. Blah, blah, blah. And then as the generations go on and on and on, the, the stories become less and less detailed right because we and then start technology starts to build up again right because technology just gets learned over and over and then these carvings in the wall are literally what we're doing now to the carvings in the fucking pyramids going what do they mean what are they what are they right okay so then mars is going to get to another stage of what earth is like we're going to fuck up mars and then we're going to look over at earth and go look at that look at that planet over there so close why is it derelict Look, there used to be water on there. I wonder what we're going to go to Earth. And then we're going to jump over to Earth again, colonize Earth. And then we're going to start doing it. And we're just going to go back and forth, back and forth. That's my theory. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that is a really good theory. Yeah. That's what I reckon. Well, 
Yeah, no, it's a it's a really good theory. I guess there are actually books that uh not not talk about this uh the idea that we are all, we are the aliens, right? We were colonized the plan we colonized planet Earth uh hmm. in a distant past or something like that. Um, Co- Colin, hang on, really James. Good. Colin says as if. Why? Why as if? Why is what? that so hard to believe? <laughs> well, your theory. Winnie the Wooh says, "Oh my God, that's an acid trip." <laughs> It's 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 a good theory, right? Well, the the thing is, let's let's ask them what they think is the what's going on. I don't know. A lot of people think differently. Mm. Hi Ben and James from Ox Oxnard, California, baby. Love your channels. Oh, Pippa. Well, I, no, I, just I, read, always... I just read two bloody messages there. That was from Pippa Rose, sorry. I was always intrigued about why Elon Musk wants to take us to, to Mars. This is trippy. This is this is I think uh... it's I think it's one of those things that because he can. Right? Yeah, okay, yeah. Could be. Could be. Yeah. It's sort I don't of, know. This I, I think he's always trying to push the envelope of what is possible. Isn't ah, okay. It? That's okay. what yes, I, I think. Yes, that's yes, just yes. in his bloodstream, isn't it? You know? Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. Did you hear the? Cons- does... Did you hear the conspiracy theory about Elon Musk? Well, there's a lot of them. Right? There's a lot, right? About Wh- which one? Is he an alien? Well, um, no, something worse. I don't really want to say. Because, oh my gosh. Yeah. Um. So this apparently this um. This uh, child, like, what was it? Like a nanny. Nanny like came into his room one day and when he was like a child and and they, she said that he was a really weird child and something she saw in the room that he was talking to and doing was really weird and it scared her and stuff. And okay. Yeah, just like really weird what? stuff, man. You should try to try to look that up. It's fucking it's weird. You're right? kidding me, bro. I, You're I, kidding I, me. Legit, bro. I've not sort of looked I've looked at Elon Musk differently since that video, right? video okay yeah yeah it's a video it's like an interview that this woman did about him you're was... kidding me yeah mate no i'm not kidding has anybody seen that in chat ah uh, okay here uh, uh is this one alleged former nanny of elon musk he's not the antichrist but he will introduce the brand yeah that's the one what you're <laughs> yeah. kidding me bro <laughs> it is fucked up man it is oh fucked my up. gosh i'm gonna take a look at this video this is gold because the thing is it's like um like Obviously, he he's portrayed in the world like this, almost like the Iron Man, the modern day Iron Man, the good soul, the one that's trying to clean up the world with, you know, solar panel. Like, you, you know, didn't the devil say or something like that, that he's going to appear in um, as uh, world as leaders, or some, world leaders yeah. of some sort. Yeah, like pri- like yeah. prime ministers or, pr- or whatever. I can't I can't remember. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, nowadays we we unfortunately have um, we have a few saviors, and it's it's kind of confusing. The, the, we are living in a very strange time. Like yeah. everyone wants to be a savior, and you can't exactly know if the person really has a good intention or not. It's 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 it's. It's a shame, yeah. though, right? Because I I don't it is. like I I don't it is. I don't know, man. It's again, it's. It's I, it's reaching. I, I think I just will, don't think that yes. that's the case because I think that when you look at anybody out there, they've all got baby pictures, they've all got teenager pictures, they've all got memories of growing up. They're they're not just spawned in from some sort of dark hole somewhere and all of a sudden <laughs> become like world leaders. They, do you know I mean, they're just people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But anyway, Mike, I, we're I going think... deep here on this conversation. Yeah, well, the 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 I think it was one of the subscribers. One of your subscribers asked that about the the alien stuff. Let me see here. There are a couple of interesting questions here from your subscribers. <clears throat> okay. Is Elon Musk a clone? Oh, mate. Well, again, that was the video that I um uh watched of yours today. So that oh wow, that, that whole, video is good, mate. That's a mate. I'm telling you, it's an amazing video. It is. It's such you know a- that guy is actually convinced that he is he was cloned. 
And the scary spot, the scary part of it is that he is serious about it. Um, I actually talked to him. Oh what? And well, yeah, you know, you know. Oh what? Um, the first guy. You're talk. You're talking about the guy in robot, right? The guy. Yeah, who, yeah, yeah, who, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Who has a supposed robot clone, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what's? I'm gonna tell you something that really creeps me out. I really fucking creep me out. Creeps okay. me out. Yeah. Um. When do you remember Andrew Dawson, the guy who yes. saw yes the giant, the supposed giant, right? He was he oh. was followed by the CIA, whatever on, on, he said on right? the on the mountain, right? And then he went up yes. there and he was told to sort of like yes. turn around, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. I actually talked to that guy. I, I I had a conversation with him on TikTok, I think, and I did not take him one hundred percent seriously. Mm. I did. You know, I'm a little bit, I'm not exactly as skeptical as you are, but I always take things with a grain of salt and I always investigate them and I go deeper and try to find out because who knows, right? Who knows? Well, my, my I, I, is... I think that there potentially have been giants. Oh yeah, no, about giants, I'm not exactly sure. It, it's, yes, there are, now when it comes to giants, yes, there are bones, there mm. are other types of evidence. Yeah, I think the the Smithsonian has I don't know not only the Smithsonian but other institutes have bones that and actually there were giant humanoids that, that's a that's a thing you know mm. uh, people with I don't know two to three meters tall yes they exist and they were uh, more maybe more common in the past whatever but the giants that are portrayed in the Bible I'm not sure about them because that was a long time ago right mm. but the thing about andrew dawson specifically is that i talked to him at the time i did not take him 100 percent seriously i took it with a grain of salt yeah and i did a video on him and then a lot of people other people did a video on him too i was i think the first person to talk about it um and and after a few months he's gone he disappears he stops posting and then he's supposedly dead yeah right yeah and then and so then you spoke the to him thing. clearly beforehand right before he disappeared i talked to him i think about a year before he disappeared or something like that right, half yeah. a year whatever it, it was he was he seemed like a nice guy mm. he was interested in growing his tiktok account he wanted people to know about the giants he wanted to to expose uh better you know he asked me about the algorithm a little bit he said james am i doing the right thing here i'm, I'm trying to do uh and trying to post the videos and get more views on mm. them and all that and at the time I, I talked to him i told him what he should do and what he should not do mm. try to help him out and all that and and my i went my way he went his way and all that and um i, I didn't take it that seriously I, I never imagined that he was going to to disappear or whatever you know and uh this guy that you're you're talking about in my last video that the guy that uh found himself as a clone in a robot in a, yeah. in a supposed commercial for a, a marketing campaign for a movie right yeah yeah so yeah i'm you know a lot of people are not taking this guy seriously it's kind of the same thing you know they're calling him crazy and all that and he's he's serious as heck what well, is so, that again, guy is that guy actually in the film no Oh, okay. Because I, I got so. slightly confused when I watched it. Because yes, yes, like, people yes. were uh, like, it is actually confusing because there's no evidence. No, no one knows if the guy, those, those people that are portraying the robots in the marketing campaign are going to be in the movie. I don't think they are. No, no. What uh, confused me was like this. Basically, guys, you'll see the video tomorrow. And if you don't want to see my reaction, make sure you go over to James's channel and watch it. It was the it was the video from four weeks ago. Okay. But um, the ones with the robots on yeah, the thumbnail, on, right? on the yeah. thumbnail, yeah, yeah. Um, but basically, um, he basically tweets out and starts doing TikToks about like this robot is me. I've been cloned. But it seemed like the way he was being contacted and things like that that he was actually in the film and he didn't know that he was being cloned because he was in the film and somehow they cloned him whilst he was like recording or something. I I don't know, but. But then some other girl also came out and she said that she'd been cloned and she looked very similar to them. But I don't know, man. And, oh, mate, I tell you, and then it just opens up a whole can of worms about your, your facial yeah. scannings on things when you do these apps and stuff like that, man. It's fucking crazy. Such a good video. It is. Such a good bloody video, mate. Yeah. But look, James, no, it is, I... Go on. 
No, no. I was going to talk about the clo- they cloned Tyrone, the movie, right? Yeah, it opens yeah. A, cans of, a can of worms. It, it's complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, I mentioned, um, what's his name? Uh, bloody. Who's the rapper? Went out with bloody um, Kardashian. Uh, Kanye West. They say that he was cloned. Oh, okay. Kanye, I've yeah. I've heard that. Because he, dis- he, went cra- he went a bit crazy, started saying all this sort of stuff disappeared and came back like one foot taller <laughs> like, oh really yeah man he came back and people were like how is it why is he one foot taller <laughs> so yeah it's fucking weird mate weird it is it yeah is, man it is. yeah it, 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 Christ. this day and age but the thing is i think that there are, you have to say that there is a certain aspect of this that since social media has come around and movies have got better and CGI has got better. I think naturally we have become to be a little bit more sort of sensitive to these things and more maybe gullible. Like if you were if you were to go yeah. back and tell everybody about like maybe I don't know back in the fucking sixties or something and said to them about giants, aliens, cloning and all this sort of stuff, they'd be like, what the fuck have you been smoking? I mean, in the 60s, they probably were smoking quite a lot, but like they would, wouldn't they, right? But because it's nowadays when you're watching so yeah, much... In the 60s, yeah, that was a bad reference. In the 60s, I think they would, they would, be, they would believe everything. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the thing about it is, uh, uh, you, you, I think you got a point there. Actually, I don't, I don't think that... I, I would attribute, attribute this nowadays to the internet being a place where um, it's, not, it's not the internet's fault. It's the fact that people have, um, our lives have become a, a little bit dull, you know, a bit mm, boring. Yeah. And, and we have the internet at our hands and we wish that we had a better, a better world, maybe. I'm not yeah. going to say a better life because people have different li- lives, right? Mm. But we, we wish maybe sometimes that we had a better world, better people to trust in, politicians and all that. So mm. we go about trying to find a, a meaning uh, on the internet or things that we... Because sometimes, for example, I believe that uh, Bigfoot or aliens or UFOs or ghosts, they could be real, right? Mm. Yeah. So I go about investigating and reading things about it and, and trying to search for good videos on it. And um, and sometimes you actually come across some of some some really good content and stories. Sometimes that you say, "Wow, this is a similar story to something that happened to me." You yeah. Know? And uh, when this this happens, you got a bunch of people who also um, try to identify with these things, but sometimes they don't have much of a reference. And they become uh, more gullible. Like, for instance, if you talk about a subject that I have absolutely no clue about, mm. if you start if you start telling me, for instance, James, the Earth is flat, for instance, okay, yeah, and um, and you start explaining to me exactly why or what and how and because of this and that and all that, there's a really big chance that and and let's just say that we're doing this on a live stream. There's a really big chance that I'm gonna think, well, I'm gonna investigate this. This is a really interesting theory, but the people that are listening to it might actually think, well, this is something that I can refer, that I can uh, relate to. I've yeah. seen this or I heard this. I saw a movie. Nowadays, we have so many movies uh, that we've watched. Uh, there are so many movie stories that we tr- we relate what's not true with what's true. And we sometimes make us a, a, a truth up. Let's just say like yeah. that. We, we, we I, confuse the truth with stories. and. It I becomes think that, a really, I, I think what, you know, what you're trying to say, mate, is complicated. That I, I, yeah, it does. But I think what it comes down to is just trust, right? Because exactly. because nobody knows what they can trust anymore. Kind of like that, yeah. It's like you, ha- everything is up in the air. Everything's a gamble. Everything is just like really, you know. And it it's a sad situation, really. Once upon a time, you could watch the news, for example, and just believe what. You, you saw and you felt like you were updated about what's going on in the world. And it's like um, what Denzel Washington said. He says, if you watch, your new- if you watch the news, you're ill-informed. No, sorry, you're, okay. you're misinformed. Yeah. And if you Nowadays, don't watch, if, right. you, yeah. if you watch the news, sorry, if you watch the news, you're misinformed. If you don't watch the news, you're misinformed, ill-informed, one of the two. 
Yeah. So basically, if yeah. you watch the news, yeah. yeah, yeah, you're being lied to. If you don't watch the news, you're yeah, you ain't got a clue what's going on. So it's it's tough, man. It's... That's what he said. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But uh... yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it's complicated. Exactly. Yeah, we're living in a very complicated world. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is. I think this is one of Thanks, the things. Wife. I... Thanks, wife. Uninformed. Un- uninformed. That's yeah. A good one. Yeah, that's it. I think that one of the things about channels like mine, for instance, and there are a couple of more channels, I guess, um, that try to, you know, maintain the, the, the thing as real as possible or, you know, like um, try to actually just rule out or just, you know, filter what could be or couldn't be. Because most of the videos, like I always say in my, in my own channel, I usually say, you know, 99% of these videos could be fake. Mm. And some of them are indeed fake. And, and if there's 1%, that actually is the thing and that's already an eye opener that's already you know this yeah. opens a whole new level and and branches thing mm. branches you know it, it's a new branch of yeah i think you get what i'm trying to say here is, yeah i know what you mean yeah the thing is yeah like, if YouTube... one ufo video is real that's enough yeah that's mate, exactly exactly yeah it's like i've since since watching all of this paranormal Right. Because obviously when I started out doing all the paranormal stuff, I was I was what I would say pretty much a skeptic, like through and through. But what I've what I found is since having a more of an understanding of the paranormal, it's made me believing it. uh, It's made me believe in it a little bit. Oh, really? Yeah, man, for sure. Because it's open up. Yeah, for sure. It's. The thing is, it's a weird one because because of the knowledge and the understanding and the understanding of other possibilities out there. It's like, yeah, okay, there could be. I like, I'm more susceptible to the idea that there's a there's a paranormal universe out there. However, it's a double blade, a double edged sword because the YouTube videos that I see makes me feel like it counters that, right? Because I see so many which are clearly fake videos. Yeah. You know, it's it, it, it's tough. It's tough. It's like, oh, it's another fake video. And like, I see it as all entertainment. You know, it, it freaks me out. It's scary again. So it, it's it's like, um, it's in a way, it's helping me with my channel because the more knowledge I get, the more I watch, the more I listen to people's conversations, the more I read comments about their stories and things like that. In my mind, I'm like, well, there, there must have to be. If so many people legit feel this way and have got these stories, are having these experiences in their houses and all this sort of stuff, there must be something going on. I can't just block it out and say, yeah, bollocks, mate. It's just your imagination. There must have to be. But then you watch the YouTube videos. You just go, oh, God. Like, you know, some of them are really, really bad and quite clearly fake. And some of them you just go, oh, shit. Yeah, so this sort of supports the idea even more. So I'm not saying that I'll ever get to the point of where I'm just like a full on believer. I just think that I'm more open to it now, you know? I see. What's the percentage you think, for instance, of the videos that you see on YouTube, um, um, the, the ones that could be real and the ones that are fake? Of the videos? Oh, man, that's a hard, that's yeah. a hard one. I would say more fake than not. Definitely more fake than not. It depends. It depends also on... Ah, see, that's a tough one again, mate, because sometimes you can see, like, a top five, for example, and you look at them and go, fuck me, every single one of those was fantastic, you know, and hard to explain. Yeah, yeah. But then some of them, you like, literally a whole top five can be, oh, my God, these are just comical, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think that what helps people identify if it's fake or real is if uh, people have experienced themselves something like that, you know, like something that they see, they say, okay, this is, I've seen something like this, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, but the, I, I, I think say... that, I think that the thing is, there's so much, there's so much um, fame, fortune, exposure when it comes to creating fake ghost videos 
which let's be it's honest it's become a trend yeah they, and, and everyone's jumped a lot of people have jumped onto that bandwagon yeah right and they're yeah. like yeah let's let's, let's see. and i think sometimes a lot of people don't do it in a, a malicious way you know i just think that sometimes you're at your house and you're chatting to your missus or you're chatting to your friends oh fuck it let's let's do a let's do a ghost video and we'll fucking post it and see what yeah. happens oh no it'd be bollocks no come on fuck it let's do it and all of a sudden it just goes viral and everyone's talking about it and then they're like oh shit man we've got something here we could make a channel you know and i yeah, think exactly. that's yeah. that's just yeah. what happens and but the thing is sometimes you can look at videos and you can go holy shit that is fake as anything who's to say that it actually is that's the thing and i know there's like debunkers out there and like you know they go into like the the nitty gritty and you know a lot of them actually call it out and say yeah absolutely you know job done that's all fake but some of it i think is sometimes you know a lot of it is assumption um but yeah. i don't really yeah. watch too many of them to like really because i try to avoid it i just try to just be in my own little bubble, entertain myself, look at some horror, get freaked out and just fucking live my life. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't want to dive into it too much. I what, just... What's the video? What's that one video that you would say like this one, this one did it for me. Oh mate, there's been a few. What, what do you mean? Did it for me? I mean like the, the, the proved it, like the paranormal is real. Well, again, I don't know because again, I'm, I'm still mostly a skeptic. However, uh, there, okay. there, there's videos that, i watch where legit i'm like really scratching my head and thinking holy shit man there has to be going get something going on here and i'll tell you one in particular one channel in particular that for some reason i don't react to that much don't watch that much don't you know put my thoughts on it that much i think it's because it's very rare that they it's not rare but it's not very frequent that they're, they're on top fives or featured that much but it's ghost of car main ah uh, okay mate i'm yeah. fucking telling you something's going on with ghost yeah. of car main this the stuff yeah. and i know that it, the footage that he releases and stuff is um is like blurry you know a little bit sort of potato thing but I don't know, mate. There's a, that 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 scene where some shadow bastard thing is in the window and it flops down, and then he turns his camera and something's lying on his bed, mate. It freaks me the fuck out. I, yeah. I, might, I might start yeah. looking at his channel a bit more, man. No, that that's that's wicked. I mean, like uh, you got another hundred there. Fucking hell, J -J JBK, mate, with a one hundred smackaroonies. Holy <laughs> moly, mate! Look at you. Look at you. Right after Leg World, mate. With the 20 smackaroonies. Holy shit, guys. Thank you. And I'm so sorry that I'm shouting out only the bloody red and yellow ones here. But they're, they're, they're eyesores, mate. They pop up in my face like crazy. I will start saying thank you so much for the other the other um, super chats and, and the memberships. Thank you guys so much. But JBK, mate. Muchos gracias. Muchos gracias. Uh, James, mate, I've got to jump off because I've still got I, I got three things to uh, three or four things to open, and already we've been streaming for maximum. Well, it was, it was hours. lovely chatting with you, bro. It was mate, uh, lovely chatting with you, James from That Is Impossible channel. Make sure you go to his channel, subscribe, and do the thing. Okay, James, cheers, buddy. See you guys. See you guys. Take care, man. Bye, bye. Bye. He's an absolute legend, and let me just also tell you this: that he just fucking like just wants to help out all the time all the time we'll, we we talk quite regular and we're talking about his channel we're talking about my channel we're you know back and forth of ideas such a great guy really is anyway right i've got this i've got to push on man because it's i can't believe that we've been streaming for like i can't remember how like what was it i can't remember what, hour, hour and a half already so far what's this what is this what is is this a this is a 3d printed bloody gimbal no uh, oh my god it's magnetic too what the it's a camera holder it's a, what the hell 
hell? What the? What the hell? Mate! I watched the mess out of your channel. I watched the mess out of your channel? I'm finding hard to find videos I haven't already watched. Your shows are so entertaining, I get a big kick. I'm sure I'm glad you said kick. And I get a big kick out of the videos. But your reactions kill me. Keep up the good work. I make these things. I designed it on the computer using Fusion 360. Then I 3D print them. I hope to, to get this thing off the ground. And I thought you might enjoy one. So here you go. Peace. Instructions. The little puck has adhesive on the back. And you can stick that to the wall. Oh, my mate. Really? That's got adhesive? That thing there? Hang on a second, mate. This is sick. It's cool, isn't it? You can stick it to the wall. This is your wall mount for your phone. The thing that has, uh, has a magnet on the back is called a magnet dock. It can magnetically connect to the desktop stand on your, your wall mount. I'm writing, uh, I'm wanting to sell these so a little promo wouldn't hurt. Thanks, Casper. Ryan, I'm on Instagram and I've set up a web page as well. Um, is magnadoc.com. Magna doc.com mate thank you so much and well done for that buddy that is fucking amazing that is sexy look at that mate this 3d printing malarkey is so damn good just to put something on the computer and then eh, eh, 24 hours later whatever it is you've got something like this mate wow look at it wow okay right <laughs> right here, man. I've got something here. I can open up this one. Hello from New Jersey. Hello, mate. First live, Danny Mars. We've just been talking about Mars. Um, yeah, everyone's saying bye to James. Right, hang on one second, because this is... I can't believe that I've I've missed some of your... Manic on Returns Gaming. Thank you so much for the two smackaroonies. Hello, Casper Love you, Vids. You're my fave YouTuber. Mate, thank you so much, man. Um, We've got... Carl from Mars with the five smackaroonies. Muchas gracias. Uh, JT's no bullshit reviews. Five smackaroonies. Uh, ben and James, why are no ghost sightings of caravans? Uh, <laughs> it's not caravans. He didn't say caravans, okay? He said, why are there no ghost sightings of cavemen? It's not caravans. What's in the box? Um, did ghosts only become a thing from the Victorian era onwards? That's a really good that's a really good question. That is. And also, like other things like ghost birds, ghost monkeys, ghost turtoys, ghost things. That's a really good question. Ben, Rockstar just popped on a, a, a tweet on X stating that they will be releasing the official Grand Theft Auto trailer this December. Ooh, you better play it on Twitch. Well, I I stopped play um I stopped live streaming on Twitch, and then I went over to Kick, and then I've actually stopped live streaming on on Kick purely down to because when I got, started getting poorly, I just needed some some time, and so I don't know. I did say maybe the game that will bring me back to live streaming on kick would be grand theft auto because yeah i love grand theft auto it's banging so maybe when that's released i will be returning to kick maybe i don't know all right but for now i'm really enjoying um i'm really enjoying the focus that i've got on casper site and also Casper Vision. I uploaded a video yesterday that a lot of people got confused about. <laughs> I wasn't hating on this guy. It was just me basically um, having a laugh at something that this guy is doing, which I, I saw on um, TikTok. I was like, how is this guy getting away with this? We've got to stop him. So, um, 
and thank you so much to the people who've gone over to Casper Vision and, and subscribed, man. I can't believe it. And the views on that video already, I really, it was double what I thought it was going to be. And I'm also, in fact, I'm going to ask you guys. I've got two videos ready for Casper Vision. And I don't know which one that you want first. I'm in a bit of a dilemma. Um, one is called, hang on. Um, I can't remember what I called it now. One is called... Which one would you want to see? The moon is vanishing. Okay, that's the next video. Or... The, the other title is... Something like, did he go too far? Did he go? Was it? Did, it that's a good one, to be fair. Um, did he go? Something like that. Is this gone too far? Is this too much? Something like that. It's not gossip or anything like that. It's quite it's a lighthearted one. But there's the, the moon is vanishing or did he go too far? Which one? Just spam. Just spam. One is the moon, two is the um the too far. So spam one if you want to see the moon up on Casper Vision tonight, which I'm gonna upload in a second. Um, and two for gone too far. Just spam it. One or two. One the moon, two. No, don't say moon, just one or two. One or two. One the moon, one the moon, two, one, 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 two. It's the moon. Okay, looks like the moon. All right. You have to watch the other one then because the other one, my personal favorite is going to be number two. I'll be honest with you. I, I, I got to say it. It's going to be number two. But I'm gonna, you said it. You want to see the moon. Okay, the moon. I've really got to fucking open this, mate. But I'm really enjoying. Uh, but, but, there was, uh, yesterday's video, there were some people that were like, oh, Ben, what you, what, uh, I don't like this and blah, blah, blah. But I think these are the people that didn't watch all of the video because I said it quite clearly at the beginning. This is a joke. And at the end, I was like, you know, this guy's clearly a professional and blah, blah, blah. You know, there was no hate involved. So it did. Maybe I've got to start making it very clear. To some, right, this is fucking tough, man. Jesus, Mary and Jojo. Right, okay. We're here, we're here, we're here. We're here. I want to get through this now, okay? What's in the box? Jesus Christ, man. Death! Activate muscle! There you go, fucking piece of piss when I activate the muscle. Piece of piss, mate. Piece of bloody piss. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> like a snowflake. Whatever. Piece of piss. There you go. a bloody chicken mate there's more we, we've got the ones the ones are right the ones it's going to be the i'm going to release the moon one okay oh oh my god mate this has just made my fucking night. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Are you kidding me mate with the headphones as well oh my god mate this is the best fucking thing oh my god i've got two now i've got two
I've got what the shit, mate. I've got one here. Right? And now one here. Oh, mate. That's so cool. That's so cool, man. I love that. Hey! Okay. I'm sorry, Freddy Krueger at the back there. That is, that's incredible. Hit right. That's so cool. I didn't know you could get those made. Now, I know this one. This one here, the original one, that was somebody that knew somebody that worked for um, uh, the, the pop, right? And he actually got that. That's a legit one. I think this one must be some sort of customization of some sort that you can do yourself. I don't know. But that, I'm going to read it now, mate. This is absolutely mad. Thank you. Oh, wow. Maximum writing. That's the site. We, um, we, Daisy and Meridin, oh, Meredith, are a couple writing to you from Philly. PA. Phil, Phil, PA, we discovered your channel a while ago and I've been hooked. You are so genuinely uh, kind and kind hearted and effortlessly hilarious, all while maintaining a feel good vibe on your channel. Not to mention you're absolutely rambling them ghostly roasties like it was your bloody job, mate. I, Meredith, am a nurse and after a, a 12 hour long shift, fucking hell, man, 12 hour long shift for this Meredith, for a nurse. Um, I, I look forward to no, uh, nothing more than, what's that say? Oh, sorry, decompressing to one of your videos. Keep up the good work. P.S. There's a, there's a ghost at your work. What? There is a ghost at work. And though, I'm sorry, I'm trying my hardest, mate. The writing is, is, it, it's, it's tough. There's a ghost at work, though cannot, can be seen only on the camera settings in a chair next to the patient, but not in a, but not in person. Oh, okay. So you can only see it through a television. We are allowed to, we're allowed to have cameras for, for the, Psychotic, uh, psychiatric patients. Spooky wooky. Okay, so the CCTV camera can see a ghost on the chair, but you can't see it in person. That's weird. The unit was an old birthing ward. So weird. So weird. On the streets is the ghost in the farm. Uh, is a former patient who died in labour. Sending nothing but love. Daisy Meriden. Enjoying your present. Mate, I th well, thank you so much. Sorry, that, that was a struggle to get through that. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the letter was written on a graveyard. <laughs> Mate, no word about how you've done that. How? I, I didn't know you could get personalized. I, like, who do you know? That's, that's amazing. And I can see as well that you've got the good, the, the muscle in there, right? Clearly, you've seen me with a, the with a top off, right? Because... That's the most muscular pop that you'll ever you'll ever see. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Right, okay. We got this one here. Okay. Paradise Decay, mate! Hey, buddy! He says maximum moon. Hey, mate. Paradise Decay. I have known for absolutely years, not like in person, we've never spoke, but um, when I used to do my gaming on, Casper site used to be a gaming channel uh, and VR, he also was like doing, well, he still does, he do, he's doing VR still, like VR gaming, and um, it was, uh, yeah, it was a good relationship, it still is a good relationship that me and Paradise Decay have got, you know? Um, 
I, I would see his videos. He would give me inspiration to do some of my videos. And I'm sure it's like in return as well, man. Good relationship. He's got a good bloody channel as well, mate. Absolutely banging person. Really nice guy. This. Oh, mate. Dear Ben, I found your channel during COVID and I've been following you and your work since then. My boyfriend, Andy, got infected by the, fam uh, the funny way of doing the thing as well so we watch every single video with joy we've been such a uh, sorry you've been such a support for us during hard times we're going through so i want to say thank you for being so um caspalicious baby <laughs> please keep on giving us the chicken because we love looking at uh, you looking at us hope you like the shirt and mug from germany jen and andy mate thank you so much eh sprechen sie deutsch Man, right. Oh, <laughs> Caspalicious, mate. Oh, man. Hey, I like that. Oh, I like the detail. Oh, I like the detail there as well. Look at you. Look at yeah. And what's this one? Maximum eyeballs, please. Mate, that's brilliant. <laughs> I'm so lucky, man. Hey, I'm going to wear that. I am going to wear... In fact, I, do you know what? I think I'm going to wear that on my next video. I like that. I like that a lot. Thank you so much. Man. Right, we've got a cup here too. If the cup is like that as well, I'm going to be super happy. It fucking is. It bloody is. <laughs> hey! 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 Caspalicious, man! <laughs> Yes, mate. Look at yeah. Look at me. <laughs> mate, I like this. I like that font. I really like that. That's really good. I wouldn't be able to do that because that's copyright, but that's really nice, man. Hey, I like that. Thank you so much. You love it? I'd love it too. Mub life. Yeah, all right, Sean Dog. Okay, Bungle. Like he's saying hashtag mob life because on my website, caspersite.com, make sure you go over there. Okay? Get the, get the merch. I accidentally put, instead of mugs and cups, I put mubs and cups. So since then, he's been trolling me. Bastard. Now, I want to show you. I want to show you this one because this one turned up ages ago, absolutely ages ago, and it was already opened. And I feel really bad because I, I thought maybe the postman or something has opened it, but it turned up opened, and I haven't done a, a box opening. In fact, this actually turned up on the recording of the last video that I did of a fan mail opening. So this has been around for ages, but it's already opened, so I've seen what it is, mate, and it's a couple of books. And I really appreciate it, man. The, look at this. And I love the artwork. Look at this artwork, mate. The zombie paradox. Yeah? And the ghostly paradox. Absolutely brilliant, man. Like, small little, like, stories. Like, spooky wooky stories. Absolutely love it. I'm so sorry to the person that sent me this fucking ages ago. Must be thinking, that Casper site is right, dickhead. Right? I'm so... <laughs> so a huge fan of Casper Sight here. Um, I've been watching your reactions for years. Your adventures into mysterious and hilarious and always been put a smile on my face. Watching you ramble with your, with your humor and, and logical approach to uh, analyzing the videos is always a thrill. I tune in. See? Okay. I tune into your show several times a week at work. Keep me in a good mood. I'm a former teacher with, write, uh, with writing as as a joyful side hustle amongst other things i've been cooked up a uh, up a book series with the first few books the ghostly paradox and the zombie paradox blending the unexplained with logical reasoning i'm thinking these books could be a fun read for your kids someday or now who um who knows they offer a blend of mystery and logic and i hope would entertain and enlighten them every time you you exclaim I've got the chicken. It's a blast. And those bloody legends moments are just I iconic. If you and your little ones enjoy the read, feel like it's worth sharing. You're available. They're available on Amazon for a few uh, for a fellow enthusiast of paranormal and logic. 
a maximum shout out from you would be absolutely epic can continue to be inspiring force you are the uh, you are in the world of the paranormal keep a smile on our faces with your vibrant energy and enlightening insights your journey is motivating many of us explore think deeper and just um to rambo life cheers and lots of love matt kim kaylee and mckenna pelkey mate thank you so much man so if you do want to get these mate i hope to god that you see this video i really do and i hope to god that i don't know man yeah i hope i hope you because that's so nice of you to send me these books on amazon the go the zombie p paradox and the ghostly paradox um m a peckley right amazon look at the artwork there mate that's bloody banging all right Wow. Okay. Right. The last box, ladies and gentlemen. Last box. I've got some, uh, This is another book. I've got some fucking reading to do, let me tell you. <laughs> love watching your videos all the way from Dallas, Texas, baby. Come on. I'd love to go to Texas. Have some breakfast in my Lexus. Georgia. Georgia. Myths and legends. Ooh, hey. Myths and legends from Georgia, mate. Hey, I've got maximum reading. I'm trying to get through the new Arnold Schwarzenegger book at the moment. I've just completed chapter one. But I've got lots of bloody reading, man. Let me just have a little look. Is this somebody? Is this another author? The amount of authors that are, are in this channel and the community is crazy. Dear Ben, I found this and thought you might enjoy it. Um, of my home state, there is there as when there what? Oh, there is even a story about a farmer resident and a ufo is that that's not a farmer what does that say uh this one that president luma president what does that say and a ufo i don't know what it says oh a former president a former president okay right i'm really bad with <laughs> I'm really bad, clearly. I'm really bad at handwriting. I don't know what it is. I think it's like dyslexia or something. I'm not too sure. Hey! Georgia, myths and legends, the true stories behind the history is mysteries, baby. Come on! <laughs> right, I think that's it, guys. Um Beth Epperson, thank you so much for the five smackaroonies. I really appreciate it. No message. Um, two smackaroonies. I work at night. If I sent you shirt. What size are you? I am fucking massive. I'm a large medium or a small large. Okay? I'm like a medium. I'm like your standard medium, but not a large medium. And not a small medium. Like a, I'm a large medium. I'm fucking medium. Right, a medium. If it's too small, I just fuck, it just makes me look even bigger. So just a medium, <laughs> uh, extra small. Fuck you, Timothy. In fact, I can't wait, man. I'm so close. I'm. I. 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 I, I think I have actually lost some weight. I said to the missus the other day. I said, babe, do you, do you think I've lost a bit of weight since I've done the gym for a couple of months? She's like, you have a bit at the top. I was like, thanks a lot. Thanks. Next time you say, do I look fat in this? I'm gonna be like, yeah, fuck it, yeah, you do. Yeah. And I'm just going to be like, <laughs> she doesn't know. She never does. <laughs> but no, I'm going to get back into the gym and I'm going to ramble around. And I'm also probably going to, I don't know, I might, I might throw a few videos up on Casper Vision as well. But anyway, mate, I'm going to get off um, and I'm going to upload the new video that you've asked for, Moon. I'm going to do the Moon one up on Casper Vision, Casper Vision. And here's the link if you haven't subscribed to Casper Vision already. Casper Vision. And in about, um, I don't know, five minutes, 
I'm going to, um, yeah, upload the next video. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, peeps. Here's the, um, what's it called? Link. All right. It's been absolutely fantastic. I will be doing another live again soon. I'm so sorry if I've missed your memberships, your super chats. I am so sorry, but it's been really enjoyable chatting to you lot. And um, yeah, I'll do it again soon. Okay. All right then. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. End stream. Okay. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.